Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. AMC stock and the shorting of AMC stock on the street prior to the ape have been updated. Conversion is a perilous endeavor. This article was just published today and I'd like to discuss the cost to borrow fees that everyone on Twitter is discussing. Interactive brokers 850% plus cost to borrow fees. Therefore, let's dive into all of this information. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I have no idea where you've been. Please press the subscribe button and like the video. So let's get into it, folks. Priorities come first. With regard to loan fees, let's get to the data you need, which is the basic hardcore data, because you guys are hardcore. So then, trousers. Fees for borrowing money. Interest rate charged by interactive brokers. Currently, there are 4,000 shares available for lending with an 855.5% cost to borrow fee. If these are the costs from interactive brokers, one can only assume what the other numbers look like. In other locations, these short sellers pay outrageous fees, like it doesn't even make logical sense. One plus one does not equal two in this scenario. It makes no sense to short AMC at this juncture, given that AMC is already trading near its lows and has already factored in the court drama. However, they will do whatever they desire. Ank stock has been on the threshold securities list for eight consecutive days, with 117 million shares sold and a live short interest of 22.65%. Short cost to borrow average 972% cost to borrow maximum, 1,060% cost to borrow minimum. Presently sitting at 8.27%. Option activity is extremely bearish, as you all are aware. Nonetheless, what you're seeing is absolutely wild. As I stated in the previous video, it appears that someone is concealing something, correct? As many pessimistic options as possible. The previous video highlighted these three transactions. In contrast, if you examine the most recent transactions since then, you will find the following. $200,000 trade, $200,000 trade, $4.5 million trade, $1 million trade, $1 million trade, $2 million, $2 million, $1.5 million, 300,000, 1.28 million, 800,000, 2.5 million. All of these are bearish investments. How is AMC stock performing today, fellas? How is AMC stock performing today? It is up nearly 1%. This is incomprehensible to me. Okay. Typically, when you have witnessed transactions similar to this, you will observe. Am tumble. Certainly not today. Perhaps we are correct. Is that something the shorts have likely considered? I doubt it. Perhaps we are correct. That could be. The positioning for ANC stock is so negative that it is positive. Have you considered such a possibility? If you have watched this channel, then you have undoubtedly done so. But if you have not, the answer is likely no. The markets are already looking beyond the dilution and the court hearing, wondering what this will mean for AMC on a fundamental level. And it's all very good news. Now, let's examine some additional data on Ortex. You have days to cover while sitting at 9.5 p.m. insanity. Okay, covering a distance in 9 days is absurd. This is up 72% relative to AMC standards over the past 3 months. In essence, it emphasizes that short positions have remained extremely elevated and even increased over the past 3 months. Your volume level has decreased. So that you have days to cover, the is divided. Short sales as a percentage of the average volume. What you're seeing is a nine-digit number. There. That is very difficult. Okay. That is quite difficult for short sellers everywhere. So this is basically what people are telling me about the tornado near my home. So I suppose if you don't hear from me, it's because a tornado swept me away in Michigan, which is extremely rare. Nonetheless, gentlemen, let's maintain our concentration. Okay. So. That is the existing situation with AMC. Currently, what you're receiving and literally everyone who calls me says, this is more essential. Okay. Um, but regardless, the ADP employment change numbers we're seeing today are fairly dismal, right? You are observing approximately twice as much as anticipated, which is a negative, right? Not what the Fed wishes to do. This is not favorable for early 2024 rate cuts 
or for the Fed not to raise rates as aggressively as anticipated. Moreover, based on today's report, this does not appear probable. Now, as reported in the previous video, the ISM Services PMI will be released. However, it was released today at 53.9 instead of the expected 50. Also exceeding expectations, the JOLT's job openings decreased by approximately 500,000 from the previous month's reading. This was approximately 100,000 fewer positions than anticipated, which was a good sign. Non-farm payrolls for June are expected to reach 250,000 tomorrow. Last month, we received a reading of 339,000. You anticipate the unemployment rate to be 3.6% tomorrow. Our most recent reading was 3.7%. Therefore, any weakness here is favorable for the markets. It is positive for the economy, but negative for the rate rise scenario as a whole. Right, especially considering the employment transition at ADP. If non-farm payrolls also perform well and the unemployment rate falls, there's really nothing else to consider. There is no area in which the labor market is feeble. Right. Therefore, you want to see some weakness in some areas and some resilience in others, such as a low unemployment rate. It would be desirable if both the number of job openings and the month-to-month -month variations in the non-farm payroll report decreased. However, it appears that the payroll report may exceed expectations after all. So this is what we have planned for tomorrow. Let us now examine this article from the street. Shorting AMC stock prior to the 8 transformation is hazardous. Arbitragers wager that the prices of AMC and APE will converge after the conversion of preferred equity units to common shares. Citibank's team of Wall Street analysts believes that the Delaware Chancery Court will sanction the settlement of a class action lawsuit seeking to prevent the APE's conversion. Given the potential for an AMC short squeeze, betting against the theater chain's common shares is hazardous. The proposed settlement was the subject of a hearing conducted on June 29 and 30. According to the Wall Street Journal, a decision is anticipated within the next few weeks. In recent months, the drama surrounding the ape conversion has been a major factor in the success of AMC's common stock and the apes. So it shouldn't come as much of a surprise to you all. It comes out that AMC's volatility makes it a highly unpredictable stock, even if short sellers are optimistic. This circumstance presents a significant obstacle for arbitrage traders who must hedge their positions against favorable-unfavorable developments, such as delays in the court's final verdict. Thus, despite the fact that conversion is imminent, I see a great deal of risk for short sellers and those wagering on the short-term decline of AMC shares, given the enormous, enormous potential for a short squeeze. Now, to cut a long story short, Markets are speculating that AMC will raise approximately $10 billion to $15 billion in capital. Who knows a large number of billions? Regardless of the type of contamination you observe, I am unable to justify why this would be detrimental to a short squeeze. Right and short squeezes ultimately result in a decline in the share price, even if dilution occurs. Short squeezes can propel the stock significantly higher than it was previously. So. These are the sorts of things that I am currently considering. Currently, this is the most important information for you to have. Select the like option. Subscribe to the channel and post your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.